Hey, my name is Matt Swenson. I'm going to take you through a game day as a team photographer for the New York Giants. All right, we start off the day nice and early, head over to Dunkin', get a nice coffee, get our energy up for the day, head over to the facility. I like to get there around 7.30 for a 1 o'clock kickoff, make sure everything's packed and working. There's the coffee. Pretty nice view when you walk in. Head over to the office, open the camera case, make sure everything's ready to go. Quick gear rundown. We got our 400 mil, our go-to, the 7200, our three camera bodies, batteries, additional lenses. Pack it up and let's head to the stadium. The first thing up is player arrivals, which is about four hours before the game, so about nine o'clock. Make sure all our cameras are loaded up with memory cards, batteries, and we'll throw our lenses on here. Once we're all set, we'll clean up the lens caps and head outside. The first social media post of the day is the player arrivals. We like to get out there nice and early to make sure we can get all the players we can. As you can see, we're armed up and ready to go. First up in the distance, that's Riley Dixon, the punter. Getting a nice low angle, make sure we get the full body. Everything moves super fast on game day, so we use a live transfer system to get these photos off to our digital and social teams so they can get them out to the fans as quick as possible. Next up, we'll head out to the field. Due to COVID safety protocols, we have a limited number of people on the field, so I'm going to set up a remote camera to capture the players running out of the tunnel. I'm going to use a friction arm here and aim it roughly around where the players will run out. I'm going to set up a wireless trigger as well so I'll be able to take pictures from anywhere on the field without actually being in there. Here's a final look of that setup and we'll come back to it later. By this time the players are starting to take the field for shirts and shorts warm up. So here we go. We get a nice establishing shot of our tight end, Evan Ingram. I like to walk the field and try to find different and interesting shots. Being a team photographer is a lot like a tour photographer. You're shooting the same thing week by week, so you try to find new and interesting things while still trying to tell the story of the game. It was an overcast day, so it was a great opportunity to shoot some black and white photos. It provided some nice lighting and opportunities. Now it's time for the first team warm up, shooting the running backs and tight ends huddle. And now it's game time. The players are about to run out. You can see that remote camera we set up earlier, ready to go. Here's some of the photos we got from that. Immediately following the team running out is the coin toss. One of our captains, Nate Ebner, is walking out. Now it's time to get off the field and get our equipment ready for the game. Here's one of the first plays of the game. Nick Mullins goes back. Our linebacker, Blake Martinez, comes in for the sack. Positioning is everything. Right now I'm on the 10 yard line on our side, but I'll move up and down, usually 30 or 40 yards ahead of the play or behind the play, depending on offense defense. I stagger myself from other team photographers so we can try to capture every angle of the play the best we can. And just like that, it's all over. It's time to head inside, get these cards ingested, start editing and tagging all these photos. Go through every single photo taken. It's usually about 2000 maybe or more depending on the game and what happened so i'll go through i'll make my selects and start editing these photos are used throughout the year for social editorial posters graphics marketing and many other uses but most importantly it tells the story of the team for the 2020 season so it's important to spend the time and make sure every photo is looking as good as it can after all this we upload the photos to our catalog, close the laptop, and call it a day. Thank you everybody for watching. Follow us on our social channels to see more exclusive behind the scenes content, and we hope to see you in the next video.